going to start this video from where Cotton Top started his journey to the Gallo. Head northeast on Main Street toward Wells Alley, then turn left onto Scott Avenue. So Cotton Top was held and tried because of the New Year's Day massacre that burned down Randall McCoy's house. Two of his children were killed. And his wife Sarah was badly beaten and shot in her head. It grazed her skull. He moved up here and six years later, yes, six years, they brought some of the Hatfields in, eight of them, here. So some of them got life in prison, but Cotton Top, who was mentally challenged, pleaded guilty to killing Alifair McCoy because he thought he'd get a lighter sentence, but he didn't. He got the death sentence. But Randall McCoy himself said that he saw Cap Hatfield kill Alifair, and John G. Hatfield was the one who attacked Sarah. But he took the fall. And now we're going to see the road to the gallop. So they pulled up a carriage and loaded Cotton Top Ellison Mounts into it, who was a product of Ellison Hatfield. Devil Ants' brother and his first cousin Martha. And in the carriage, they took him a half a mile to where he was hung. They said he was in good spirits. I don't think he was completely sure, aware of what was happening. So let's go. Okay, so we were headed towards where Ellison Mounts was hung, and he would have been in his carriage creaking along here. half a mile from the jail to where Cotton Talk was hung. Uh, thousands of people, thousands, were here. They brought lunches, they brought their children, they brought places to sit. Um, Cotton Top's mother was here, Martha, and one of Randall's brothers. They said that Bad Frank, who had, you know, Bad Frank Phillips, who had had a hand in bringing in the Hatfields was drunk, acting disorderly, yelling out that he had brought the Hatfields down and he was going to own Pikeville. But we all know he didn't get, he didn't name himself Bad Frank because he was good Frank. So they said that Cotton Top was hung within 100 yards of where this sign is. They're not exactly sure. I tried to look where he's buried too. He's in an unmarked grave, either in Dill's cemetery or right there in the cemetery behind the college that I'm pointing the camera at. There's a big cemetery up there. But this is the marker. So Cotton Top 
Ellison Mounts was 25 years old, special needs, possibly albino. There is different thoughts on what he said. His final words, one was the Hatfields made me do it. Um, just different variations. We have no way of really knowing. But he seemed to think up until the very end that the Hatfields were going to save them, save them. And word was that from my research, reading old articles and what people wrote, which gets really interesting, it's different from what you see on TV, what actually happened. Uh, Devil Ants had a plan to poison the people that were going to transport him from the jail to here and then break in, you know, the people that were watching him. He had given the poison to a cook who got nervous about it. He said it would just put, her, put him to sleep, um, but she didn't believe him. So what would happen if that would have happened? But then the other story is that Devil Ant said, no, we're not doing that. We're going to end this here. Cotton Top's going to just have to hang. We can't keep going on like this. Um, we just got to end it the way it is. So this comes down to what you believe. That's the one I've always heard there, as a matter of fact. Um, that's the way I've always heard it. Yeah, that he just wanted to... Yeah, that uh, uh, there was one story that uh, a bunch of the Hatfields were planning to attack the city of Pikeville and try to break them out. And Devil Ants told them no, that they can't do that. Because if they did do that, that it would cause an all-out war, and we're going to die, our children are going to die, everyone will die. And so he said that we're just going to have to let them hang on. So I'm thinking next time they hang somebody, we should get a, a big picnic lunch and come up here and watch it. Hell yeah. Sounds like a fun day. Be a part of it. Bring your kids. This is crazy.